Yeah. It's better be good because I'm videotaping. Yeah, you don't have paper. We begin this video still in Nelson and travel over the Takaka Hill to Anatoki for a couple of days, finally stopping at a friend's place on the way to Collingwood. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to press the subscribe, ring the bell, press the like button and leave comments and ask questions as required. Nelson Market is in the heart of the city at the top of the South Island of New Zealand. Nelson Market operates all year round, rain or shine, from 8am to 1pm on a Saturday, except for recognised religious holidays. It is held in Montgomery Square, Central CBD, Nelson City, and well worth a look. This market has been in operation since 1981, so in excess of 40 years. Saturday, which is the day we are here, the market sells produce, creative artistry and gourmet foods. There is also a Sunday market which concentrates more on pre-loved clothes, toys, etc. and is ideal for those treasure hunters. There are also produce stalls and food available to have a late breakfast or lunch. Both days the market starts at 8am and closes at 1pm. The Sunday market can be cancelled if it is raining, so it would pay to check on the day. Access is from Rutherford Street, directly onto Montgomery Square. Or from Bridge Street, also directly onto Montgomery Square. And from Trafalgar Street, through the shopping lane next to the Wax Bar. There is a link attached to this video description for the market website. That's an interesting shop, isn't it? So this looks like a market. Yeah. We go and her partner come in on a Sunday and then go like. Who wants that? 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 Who This is certainly a busy place. There is easily a hundred stalls here and it is buzzing. Yeah. Yeah. There is Mexican food, spices, fresh produce, oils both for cooking and to moisturise with, artwork, clothing, jewellery, crafts, alternative natural medicines, peanut butter and nuts, plus so much more for sale at this market. For a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit me get up First shot, come strut walking, a little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game, nope, nope, y'all can't copy yet Bad, moonwalking, and this here is our party My posse's been on Broadway, and we did it all way Chrome music, I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it And yeah, I'm on, let that stage light go and shine on down that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town Trust me, on my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T shit hustling Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track bussing Halfway across that city with the back, 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 back,
give that to the people Spread it across the country Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing We give it to the people Spread it across the country Can we go back? This is the moment Tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up Like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can From leaving Huntley on the 11th of October to this point of our trip here in Nelson has taken nine days in total. Today is the 20th of October. So far we have travelled 858 kilometres and Google says we could do this trip in approximate time of 14 hours. That means our total time travel, not including waiting for ferries or stopovers, is about 14 hours, plus around 20% allowing for the caravan. Blaming anyone other than someone else. This campsite allows me to wash our van, and it is well and truly in need of a wash and wax. An unexpected fee was applied to us by the campsite. We told them we were poor pensioners, so they allowed us to work off the fee cleaning up the grounds. Can we pass this back on me? No. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit me get up First shot, come strut walking, a little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game, nope, nope, y'all can't copy up yeah. Glad, moonwalking, and this here is our party My posse's been on Broadway, and we did it all way Chrome music, I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it And yeah, I'm on, let that stage light go and shine on down Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town Trust me, on my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T shit hustling Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four-track bussin' Halfway across that city with the back, 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 back crush it. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing We give that to the people, spread it across the country Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing we give it to the people, spread it across the country Can we go back? This is the moment Tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up Like the ceiling can't hold us Like the ceiling can't hold us Can we go back? This is the moment Tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up Like the ceiling can't hold us Like the ceiling can't hold us I'm so 
so damn grateful I grew up really wanna go fronts But that's what you get when Wu-Tang raised you Y'all can't stop me Go hard like I got an eater within my heartbeat And I'm eating at the beat like it gave a little speed To a great white shark on shark We rock, time to go off, I'm gone Deuces, goodbye, I got a world to see And my girl, she wanna see Rome Caesar, make you a believer now nah, I never ever did it for a throne That validation comes from giving it back to the people now nah, Sing this song and it goes like Raise those hands, this is our party We came here to live life like nobody was watching I got my city right behind me If I fall, they got me Learn from that failure, gain humility And then we keep marching Can we said, go back? This is the moment Tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can We are now crossing the Takaka Hills. These hills are not for the faint-hearted with a big rig. Your van in a left turn will track to the left and in a right turn will track to the right. In a 180 degree turn it will likely cross the centre unless there is a good distance to overshoot the turn. This hill is fine but needs to be approached gently and taken slowly and allow for oncoming traffic giving them the right of way at all times. Why does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? Why does my heart?
We arrived in Anatoki early afternoon on Friday the 25th of October. You are allowed to stay two nights on this property without payment as long as you purchase something from either the cafe or fish for salmon. In short, you need to be a customer of Anatoki Salmon. We are keen on a salmon meal, so we are parked up here. The wardens from the last site have followed us so we took them to the fishing lake as well. It would appear my wife, the editor in chief, invited them along. Here's a good spot. I was going to rate the last camp, the one in Nelson where Teresa and Pete reside. A healthy 2.5 stars out of 5. As I'm not in charge, they get 5 stars out of 5. I'm not sure that this matters though. While bucketing down with rain, making me drench through, I eventually caught our dinner. A healthy 1.3 kilogram salmon. Upon bringing it to the warmer and drier covered area, I am greeted with my wife's comment. She caught her fish within 5 minutes and it was a whopping 2.4 kilograms already smoked and half of it was on the table ready for dinner while the rest was being vacuum packed. She even photographed her monster fish. When we took it back to make dinner, it was clear our camp was flooding and this was a current issue. Still, we were very high above the river, so safe. I admit her smoked salmon looked very tasty. This is a great place for a day or two. The cafe menu offers a variety of mouth-watering salmon delights and a selection of locally brewed beer and exceptional wines. If you cannot be bothered fishing, such as if it was a wet rainy day, unlike the day we were here of course, you can purchase salmon to take with you at the cafe.
There are eels swimming in the stream in front of the breeding ponds, ducks everywhere and kids play area so you can relax with a meal while they have fun. The cafe is open from 10am to 4pm every day. Yeah. So that one's missing its tail. It wasn't the one you were filling up yesterday. No. They won't come up that Come the ducks. Here come the ducks. Here come the ducks. You can see them clearly there. Yeah, throws them along. Good sized fish. <laughs> Teresa, you forgot to feed this lot. Not following you. In the Parkover property, Anatoki Salmon provide for travellers, we have seen a variety of bird life as well as a couple of very friendly dogs which love attention. The ground is fairly large and firm even when wet. Jeez, you could be related. <laughs> We have been here two nights, which is the maximum stay allowed for this site. We have friends living near Collingwood and have organised to stay on their land while visiting. This is one of the benefits of this nomadic lifestyle while you are able to do it. Catching up with those people that otherwise you might not see as often as your life has drift apart over the years is a great thing. Certainly being in a caravan, a place you are familiar with that does not encroach on other people's space, provides the ideal, if you excuse the pun, vehicle for visiting those that you may have lost touch with otherwise. We're heavier on the back. Why is that? Because we don't need water in the tent. Oh. Okay. 
Even if you cannot park on the person you are visiting's land, New Zealand is dotted with NZMCA and dock camps that are reasonably priced. It is likely you will find some form of campsite nearby and then commuting for all that important human interaction we all value at some level. Those two wardens from the previous campsite, Shirley's sister and her husband, we have seen sporadically over the past few years. This is the longest occasion we have had for a wee while, but more importantly, we get to interact with their children on a level we have not been able to before. We see them as adults this time with careers of their own. These, these are things that from afar are heard but not seen. We have arrived at Ben's place and will spend some time here. Ben and I used to occasionally work together and I have known him for many years. It is now many years since we have had a catch up so this is well overdue. There are links to the Nelson Markets and Anatoki Salmon in the description. We will finish this video here and we will see you guys in the next one.